Hi, welcome to LearnHowToGarden.com. In today's film I'm going to be telling you how to plant Helleborus niger, one of the most beautiful of the winter flowering plants that we have. If you're not already subscribed to us at Learn How To Garden, there's a link directly above me right now. Clicking that link takes you to the website, you input your email address. You then get access to much longer, more technical films. You get access to a free monthly newsletter that's full of fantastic advice. And it also lets you know about the really specialist courses that are getting fantastic reviews here at Learn How To Garden. This is Helleborus Niger. It is the most beautiful thing. Called the Lenten Rose, and you can see why from the actual shape of the flower. Niger, I'm not actually sure why. Niger meaning black. There um, are apocryphal stories that say the roots are black, and that's why it's called uh, Helleborus Niger. But what makes it fantastic is it flowers in the depths of winter. It comes in this white colour and many, many variations. It will cross-pollinate and set seed fantastically. But it does look particularly good in raised pots. It brings the flowers closer to you and it means that you get to see them. You can put them right next to your door. So what I'm going to do now is get a smaller version of these beauties and show you how to put it on and what compost works best for this woodland loving plant. So here's how we plant helleborus. Now whether we're going to plant them in a terracotta pot like this, which I think is a great way to plant them, certainly when they're young because it raises the flowers up and you can see them, or whether you're going to plant them in the ground it will be exactly the same. Remember they're a woodland species, that means they quite like north or east facing uh, elevations, they certainly don't like being baked. And the fact that they are a woodland species gives us a really good indication of how and what the soil should be like we're going to plant them in. And for me, I've always found the best results are when I use about 75% of a John Innes number three, a soil-based compost. And to that, you can either add some sharp sand, which will give you really good drainage, you could add grit, which will give you really good drainage. But the best thing is to actually add leaf mould, or if you can't get leaf mould, composted bark. Now all of those things, whether it's the composted bark, sharp sand or grit, improve the drainage. Because hellebores really, really dislike being waterlogged. And it's why if you're going to grow them in a pot, a terracotta pot is much, much better because it stops waterlogging. First thing you need to do in any pot, make sure the drainage hole is clear and take a single crock for the bottom. There's a lot of things written about crocking pots. The minute you start to put more drainage material in there, you do two things. You reduce its ability to drain and you actually reduce the amount of compost that we're growing in. And in fact, you actually cause an interface between the water in the compost and the drainage, which stops it draining as well. We then mix our leaf mould, etc. together. The tip about the drainage is just one of those tips that you'd find on the courses at Learn How to Garden or on the gardening club, because a lot of things in gardening are changing all of the time. Take your helleball, take it out of the pot, place the pot in the middle of the one you're going to plant it into. Please excuse my rooks. I'm very fortunate that some of the very large trees behind me contain a very old rookery. And what you can hear are the rooks just about starting to build their nests. I suspect if you spoke rook, it's certain of the boy rook saying, look at me, check it out, I'm incredible. But I just love the noise. Top up so that you are level with the growing tip. And water this in. Keep an eye on the watering, but don't overwater them. Woodland soil drains incredibly well normally. That's because of all the activity that's in the uh, soil, all the natural worm activity, and also because it's protected by the canopy of the trees. And of course, the trees take up a lot of the moisture themselves. 
It's always an idea with things in pots to feed them and something like a tomato fertiliser fed weekly but very weakly as well so it's a weak feed fed about every sev seven days for a couple of months in the summer will actually produce much better flowers next year. And this will grow quite happily for a couple of years in this pot. As you saw from the larger long toms next to my door, they get quite big, quite pretty. Once they get too big, we can split them and we can then plant them out into the garden. And where I am with the camellias behind me, large eucalypt would be a perfect place to plant your hellebores into the garden semi-shaded woodland and they will absolutely love it.